Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video and welcome to my floor. I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be taking a look at the carbon freezing chamber from the vintage collection. Uh, I do have one already, but this is the second one, so I'm really excited to sort of finish the diorama and uh, get some figures and set it up, but I thought I'd do, do the whole unboxing thing and we'll put it together um, along with the existing one I have here on the table. Um, but I'm not sure if my table's actually gonna be big enough, so we'll, we'll see, we'll play along and uh, yeah, let's open this thing up. All right, so I've already done the honors of cutting the tape and behind the box, there's the first one. So thanks to Goodies Toys again for that. So yeah, I, I did, I grabbed myself a second one. Uh, but anyway, I wanted the Stormtrooper as well. Um, uh, well, we kept carded, of course. Um, you now hopefully we had to track down a loose one through Tung Hori. I know they've listed them before, so. And there we have the contents. Here is, <laughs> oh man, that's all wonky and warped and a bit of scuffing on the bubble um, I don't know I might be able to salvage it and put it in a protective case um, there's a bit of a ding in the side there like it was just packed pretty loosely in here there's nothing sort of protecting it like um, some of the other sets have had you know, the Tantivy 4 playset it was in there in a real nice sort of groove but uh the stormtrooper looks nice <laughs> um but yeah the cards just a little bit worn and wonky um yeah i'll put it in a case afterwards and uh see if i can't salvage it it's even a little bit just sort of dusty it's got sort of cardboard fibers on it from being in the box even some of the just sort of see that some of the image looks like it's sort of been scratched off. There's some sort of chips and stuff at the uh, ink. Um, so we'll see. Uh, some of it's coming off, some of it isn't. Looks like it's uh, the bubble started to remove off the uh, card there. A little bit annoying, but uh, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, the main thing is the sort of full diorama we have here. So we'll get on with it because I know this is going to be good. Because I've already done it before. <laughs> all right, so we have all the parts. I'm just going to remove all of them. There's all the sort of framework pieces. Uh, instructions. Which, knowing me, I'll need to look at look at them again. <laughs> Just because, oh, I'm useless. I'm absolutely useless. I'm not. I have my uses, but so we have the staircase. And I, so I have the slight case of the hiccups at the minute, so excuse me. Top platform. Bottom platform. And here is the carbon free freezing chamber cylinder. <laughs> and the base is attached to. So given that I already have one, over there ready to go I'm not going to uh, need that but uh, also I'm going to be needing this because the first one I had um, didn't have the honey carbonite either so I'm going to uh, be using this one I'd honestly forgotten that it came with it. <laughs> to be honest, I uh, was expecting to have to go and hunt down another one. But that's a, that's cool. I'm glad. Glad this was included. 
because that's a that's a nice piece not bad at all so we have a bag of legs Smalls, five longs. So each each one is sort of slightly different, or different uh, bits and pieces on them. So that's cool. So that will be for this bottom bottom piece. Actually push them in. There we have that piece. Beautiful. Next up, we have the upper platform. So again, none of these legs. It doesn't really matter which order you put them in. They're all sort of slightly different. Slightly different elements to them, so you know if you got two of them, it doesn't really matter. So there's that piece. We'll sort of come back here, sort of see what we've got. You can see both the platforms. There's the other half. Um, get this together and then I'll probably just put it all together off camera because I don't think it's going to fit on my table here but uh yeah I'm going to put together this frame attach it to the top and then we'll come back and look at it on the floor once it's all set up all right here it is all set up um yeah it's it's cool I there's a couple of things I would love to have seen slightly improved and that is just the way it all sort of locks together. Like it basically doesn't. Um, these sort of are really sort of loosely sort of sit, just sort of sitting on top of that sort of carbon block um, piece, which looks okay. Um, but yeah, if that, those sort of joins were a lot snugger, that'd look great too. You can see there's like a slight gap and it does sort of sit quite loosely. Probably be all right on a uh, harder surface, but because I do have it on a rug, um, it'd be, probably be a little bit better. Um, the, the sort of steps, they just very loosely just sort of, sort of do, they do lock in top, but they just sort of sit in a groove there. So they're quite just sort of loose. They don't lock in or stay like, they can get bumped like so. Um, but again, if, if you're like me and probably just going to display them, it's fine. Um, also, I wish sort of the uh, the top platforms were sort of interchangeable to a degree where you could alternate sides um, of the platform so you could sort of mix and match the way they're sort of set up. So I could sort of spin that one that way if I chose to and just sort of have them like that um, would have just made for a little bit more of a, you know, alternate, I guess, you know, <laughs> make it a little bit more diverse, I guess, with um, how it's set up. But because those two are exactly the same, you, you kind of got the same thing on either side. So unless you're into hardcore customizing, um, you know, that's, that's basically what you've got. Um, but I'm, I am happy with it, I'll be 100% honest. It's quite big. <laughs> um, I honestly didn't consider it to be this big, but uh, you know, it's big enough to sort of fit on the same table there as my sail barge. So um, yeah, I haven't actually worked out exactly where this thing's gonna go just yet. Um, I was hoping to sort of have my sort of Empire Strikes Back shelf, um, which up here is, you know, quite small. It's just sort of literally from there to there. I really don't have the space for it there. And because of the height, yeah, so I've sort, sort of really limited to where it can go. So I will find somewhere, I will make it happen, but it is cool. It may just mean I may just disassemble one of these platforms and just have one side of it set up for now. But um, 
yeah, I'm pretty keen to sort of get a couple figures and we'll space, set them up on the on the platforms and stuff here and we'll take a look. All right, here we go. I've got a, just a couple of little quick scenes where I've basically just grabbed a bunch of figures and just stuck them on here. Unfortunately, I don't have the Ugnaughts from the box. Um, they need to be re-released, <laughs> let's be honest. Those things are so expensive to get a hold of now. Um, got the new layer here. It uh, works well with the scene. I'm glad we're getting a new Lando because this one just really doesn't hold up these days. Um, we're also getting a new Lobot coming out. This one is still good, um, but yeah, could definitely use an upgrade. Yeah, the Ugnaughts could definitely do with an upgrade. I feel like this, this Harney Carbonite looks a little bit plasticky in comparison to the one that came in the uh, Jabba's Palace sort of playset a year or so ago. That doesn't matter. I think I've got the jewel. The Force is with you, young Skywalker, but you are not a Jedi yet. It's one of my favorite lightsaber jewels, so yes, perfect perfect display scene and uh, I've got my phone torch just sort of sitting underneath there so you can sort of get the idea of the lighting and it works out really well if I get that out and uh, ignore the fact that Luke fell off you can sort of see the way it lights up the uh, orange lights on the stairs as well which is great overall I'm pretty happy I'm glad I didn't have to pay full price for both of these so, um, yeah, I'm really, really glad to have these two together. I know where to put them, of course, but, um, they may, I may actually better get them to fit on my, uh, coffee table here. So there, it may stay for a little while. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah, while it's a cool playset, I definitely think it could have been a little bit more, but um, particularly for the money, there were a hundred bucks down here. Um, I managed to get one of them for 90 and the other one was a, was, was a trade <laughs> um, from Goodies Toys. We, we did some wheel and dealing and uh, yeah, he was good enough to hook me up. So yeah, I'm gonna look at other ways to display this thing. I'm gonna search around online and uh, see what you, see what you folks and other people have um, done to set this thing up because I do really like it. But uh, thank you very very much for joining me for this review. Hope you've enjoyed watching as much as I've enjoyed making it. It's always fun playing with Star Wars toys. That's why we're all here. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos coming up. Till then, may the force be with you always.